The Bank of Estonia is the central bank of Estonia as well as a member of the Eurosystem Organization of Euro Area Central Banks. The Bank of Estonia also belongs to the European system of central banks. Until 2010, the bank issued the former Estonian currency, the Kroon. The Governor of the Bank of Estonia, currently Ardo Hansen, is a member of the Governing Council of the European Central Bank. Talibor Prior to the introduction of the euro, Talibor or the Tallinn Interbank Offered Rate was a daily reference rate based on the interest rates at which banks offer to lend unsecured funds to other banks in the Estonian Wholesale Money Market or Interbank Market in Estonian Kroons. Talibor was published daily by the Bank of Estonia, together with Talibid Tallinn Interbank Bid Rate. Talibor was calculated based on the quotes for different maturities provided by reference banks at about 11 am each business day by disregarding highest and lowest quotation and calculating arithmetic mean of the quotations. History Topic 1919 establishment. The bank was established on the 24th of February 1919 by the Provisional Government of Estonia following the independence of Estonia. Two years later, Eesti Bank became a national bank and responsible for issuing the Estonian mark. Topic 1927 introduction of the first kroon. A new version of the statutes was approved in 1927, according to which Eesti Bank became an independent note issuing central bank with limited functions. The main tasks of the bank remained to guarantee the value of the money through currency circulation and through the arrangement and regulation of short term credit volume. Through the sale of government securities, the bank became a true joint stock bank. A foreign loan of 1.35 million British pounds, 27.6 million kroon, supplemented the foreign currency reserves of which Eesti Bank received 1 million British pounds. The gold and foreign currency reserves of the state treasury were also transferred to the central bank. The fixed capital of the bank was increased from 2.5 million kroon to 5 million kroon. The sizes of the issues in relation to the reserves backing the kroon were determined. Long-term loans that had become illiquid were transferred to the Long-Term Loan Bank, founded specifically for the purpose of releasing Eesti Pank from this burden. Upon the Soviet invasion of 1940, Eesti Pank was nationalized as the Estonian Republican Office of the State Bank of the Soviet Union. With the nationalization and the introduction of the Russian ruble as legal tender, it lost much of its functions. Topic 1990 Re-establishment. East Bank recommenced operations on the 1st of January 1990 after an interval of 50 years, though not yet as the central bank of an independent country. The fact that it was possible to restore the central bank in spite of the fact that Estonia was not yet independent was a paradox of that time. The statutes of East Bank were confirmed in March 1990, and 400 million rubles were allocated for the statutory fund. According to the statutes, East Bank was an independent public organization, an issue center subordinate to the highest authority of the ESSR. The main tasks of the bank included the following. Developing an economic strategy for the country and its execution in the field of currency circulation. The provision of credit, financing, settlements, and foreign currency relations Management of the currency and credit system Securing the stability of currency circulation, guaranteeing the purchasing power of the national currency and determining its exchange rate in relation to other currencies. <laughs> foreign trade bank takeover Eesti Bank took over the Tallinn branch of the Foreign Trade Bank of the Soviet Union, reorganizing it into the Foreign Currency Operations Center of Eesti Bank. 
The central bank also attempted to take other steps within its ability for the liberalization of the economy and in order to make the transition to a market economy, it began organizing currency auctions, publishing quotations of the number of rubles in circulation, issuing licenses for foreign payments and settlements, etc. Introduction of regulatory function At the same time it was necessary to begin transforming East Bank into an actual regulator of the Estonian banking sector. At that time, settlements were performed through Moscow, the local clearing centre being subordinate to Moscow. In the first years, East Bank was not yet able to regulate and inspect the operations of the local commercial banks. Reserves The formation of reserves backing the Kroon was commenced. After the recognition of East Bank as the legal successor of the Central Bank of the Republic of Estonia, established in 1919 during the independence period, the government of Great Britain decided to return the gold that had belonged to the pre-war East Bank to Estonia. The restoration of the membership of East Bank in the Bank for International Settlements was accompanied by the restoration of its rights to the gold and other assets deposited there. Reserve felling areas from the State Forest Fund worth $150 million were also included in the balance sheet of East Bank as an additional foreign currency reserve although the latter had more a moral and an emotional value for the general public than a practical one. Reintroduction of the Kroon The new banknotes the second Kroon reached Estonia in April 1992. The Estonian Kroon was pegged to the German Deutschmark to ensure stability. The German Bundesbank was informed of this. The Estonian Kroon was declared the sole legal tender in circulation and East Bank the only regulator of monetary relations in Estonia. Within three days, 1,500 rubles were exchanged to Kroonie for each resident natural person at the rate of one Kroon. Equals 10 rubles. Almost the entire amount of rubles in circulation in Estonia was exchanged to Kroons at the same rate, deposits, money held by enterprises, etc. The rate was considered underpriced by many opponents, but it actually corresponded to the market rate of that time. Time and the later course of events have indisputably proven the correctness of the choice made. All the laws and other legal acts planned for the beginning of the monetary reform came into effect. East Bank began to publish daily exchange rates of the Estonian Kroon against the most important foreign currencies. Equals. Topic 2011 Introduction of the Euro. Equals. With the introduction of the euro on 1 January 2011, the Bank of Estonia became a member of the Eurosystem or the system of Eurozone central banks that of that collectively set and implement the zone's monetary policy. Some of the functions of the bank were taken over by the European Central Bank. Other functions, as well as membership to the European system of central banks remain. Chairman. <laughs> <laughs> equals Nickel Pung March 1919 to August 1919 Eduard All October 1921 to October 1925 Artur Wibopuu October 1925 to November 1926 Yuri Jackson November 1926 to July 1940 Juan Vabel July 1942 October 1940 Martin Kostner 1944 to 1949 in exile Oscar Curson the 21st of January 1968 to the 31st of December 1980 in exile Rain Otsesson the 28th of December 1989 to the 23rd of September 1991 SIIM Callas the 23rd of September 1991 to the 27th of April 1995 Vahor Kraft, the 27th of April 1995 to the 7th of June 2005. Andres Lipstock, the 7th of June 2005 to the 7th of June 2012. Ardo Hansen, the 7th of June 2012 present. Topic. See also. 
Eurobor RIGIBOR Estonian Kroon Estonian Mark Economy of Estonia Economy of Europe Topic External Links Bank of Estonia official site Bank of Estonia official site in Estonian New rules for fixing TALIBOR and TALIBID introduced by Eesti Pank <laughs>